to this physics practical video. Today, we are going to verify the laws of refraction of light. But first, let's understand what refraction of light means. Refraction of light is the bending of light as it passes from one medium to another with a different optical density. For example, from air into glass or water. Refraction is governed by two important laws, which we will verify in this experiment. The materials needed for this experiment are drawing sheet, rectangular prism, four optical pins, ruler, pencil, and a protractor. We place the drawing sheet on a flat surface like a wooden board and secure it with drawing pins at the corners. And we place the rectangular prism in the center of the drawing sheet and trace the outline with a pencil. We remove the prism and mark a point on this side of the outline. This point is known as the point of incidence. And we draw a perpendicular line passing through this point. So we put the baseline of the protractor on the outline and the point here on the point of incidence and measure 90 degrees. So we draw a straight line passing through this point and the point of incidence. And that line is perpendicular to the outline. And it's known as the normal. Now we are going to measure an angle of incidence, let's say 30 degrees from the normal. So we put the baseline of the protractor on the normal and measure 30 degrees from this side. Put a point there. And draw a straight line passing through the point of incidence and the 30 degrees point. This line is known as the incident ray and the angle of incidence is 30 degrees. So I is the angle of incidence. And in this case, it's 30 degrees. And we erect two optical pins on the incident ray. And replace the rectangular prism on its outline.
Now I'm looking through this side of the prism. We are going to adjust our eyes until we see these two pins in a straight line. And now we are going to insert two more pins so that they align with the first two pins when viewed through the block. We remove the prism and the optical pins. We draw a straight line passing through these two points and meeting the outline of the prism. This line is known as the emergent ray. And we join this point of intersection to the point of incidence. This line is the refracted ray. And the angle between the refracted ray and the normal is known as the angle of refraction, R. We are going to measure the angle of refraction. So we put the baseline of the protractor on the normal and the point here on the point of incidence. And we measure from this direction and we have 19 degrees so the angle of refraction here is 19 degrees now this is the original part of the incident ray and when it moved from air a less dense medium to glass a dense medium, it slowed down and refracted towards the normal. And also when light exits a dense medium, it speeds up and bends away from the normal. Now we have an angle of incidence of 30 degrees, an angle of refraction of 19 degrees. And we are going to find sine of the angle of incidence divided by sine of the angle of refraction and we are representing it with mu that is the refractive index and so we have sine 30 degrees divided by sine 19 degrees which gives 1.5 to one decimal place and now we can change the angle of incidence to let's say 40 repeat the procedure and record the angle of refraction again when we find sine i divided by sine r we will get approximately 1.5 so it means this value is a constant known as the refractive index of the given pair of media and this brings us to the laws of refraction the first one states that the incident ray, the refracted ray, and the normal at the point of incidence all lie in the same plane. And the second law, known as the Snell's law, It states that the ratio of the sine of the angle of incidence in one medium to the sine of the angle of refraction in another medium is a constant for the given pair of media.
Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.